Hi there, this is Chris and in today's short tutorial I want to explain the concept of variables and parameters in Netomac. In Netomac the terms variables and parameters cannot be clearly separated. A parameter is a value that I can pass to some function, whereas a variable can be changed depending on defined conditions. During this lesson you will see that drawing a line between is not so easy. From earlier lessons you know already there are hash parameters and in function variables. But let's take a closer look. We start again with our small network from the lessons 1 to 4. But actually this time we do not care much about the network itself. First let's define some hash variable or parameter. Let's call the first one hash par1 and the second one hash par2. Again we define these two with an add line. Then we add a macro file to our project and call it vars underscore and underscore params dot mac. Once it is created we can open it and for better overview we can drag it into the right part of the editor and select the vertical separation. Now we see the new macro file and the net file on the same screen. In this new macro file we can create a special controller called evaluate. This is a function that actually does not directly interact with the network like the varpq or exciter we picked last time. But the evaluate function is used to do some math or provide central information to other real controllers. We will call this function variab and we need the n in the column 27. Please look in the help to find out why. Let's also close this function with the end word in name 3, so we do not forget it later. Then we define the in function variable t and assign it to the time. This variable is not known outside this function. Then we assign the parameter hash par1 to the in function variable par1. We need this assignment if we want to be able to plot the value from hash par1 in the diagrams. Now let's do some math. For example, we define the variable result and assign it to the sum of t and par1. Of course you can also directly write this formula with a hash parameter. The result will be the same. Then we do the same for hash par2. In the net file we have to call our new macro and then we can run the simulation. In order to see what the evaluate function actually did, we need to define the plot channels. To make our life easier we can use the function controller all output values. Then select the evaluate as type and type in the name of our function variab. After running the simulation again and creating a new diagram page, we can find all in-function variables in the Signal Explorer. After dragging all signals to the diagrams, we can see that the program did exactly what we wanted. We gave hash par1 the value 4 and hash par2 the value 100. And then we added these two values to the simulation time. When defining the hash parameters with the help of the single add line, we create a parameter that is known to the following macro call. If we call another macro after that, this hash parameter is not known anymore. For example, if we want to use the hash parameter hash t1 from our variable load macro, by adding a formula in vars and params macro, Netomac will throw an error message which tells us hash t1 is not defined. By using the correct headers within the macro files, we can also define default parameters and do some math prior to enter the function itself. The default parameters are very useful when you want to create controllers where you want to tell the user what is a usual value for that parameter or you want to give an explanation or a unit. The advantage is that you do not need to pass parts or all parameters when calling the macro. If no parameter is defined, the default ones are used automatically. As you see as default we defined hash par1 as 10, hash par2 as 20 
And with the equations part, we defined hash part 3 as 10 plus 20 equals 30. We can use the concept of parameters not only for functions, but also for any other program parts like the network section. For example, we can define the hash pgen parameter with a value 200 and the hash name parameter with a string gen. Then we create a macro file called topo, like topology, and copy the g line to that new macro. When we replace the generator name with a parameter hash name and the 200 megawatt with the parameter hash pgen, we have exactly the same network as we had before. Netamark has the possibility to define global hash parameters with the help of the double add lines. When we do so, these global hash parameters are known to all program parts that follow the definition. Make sure the parameter names are not defined anywhere else. After running the program again, we see that the macro has recognized these global variables, which we assigned the values 5 and 8. Alternatively to this double add notation, you can also use the word global between the add signs. The hash parameters have one point in common. They cannot be changed within the function and then be reused later in that same function or even in another function. You can reassign a local hash parameter after the program returns from a macro call. So, for example, you can use hash par1 in another macro call, but you have to completely reassign this parameter. If you want to use a real variable across many functions, you need to use the percent variables. These variables are known to all the functions once they are initialized. Therefore, you can write a very small evaluate function and place it at the very first function call. Within this function, you can initialize the percent variables in such a way that they are just once called at the beginning of the simulation. In my example, I just say the percent par 4 is set to 5 only when the time is lower or equals to 0. Now we can use it in all following functions. Let's do some math in the vars and params macro. I just increase the percent variable by 1 every time the macro is executed, which is every time step. When I plot this par 4 variable, I see that it's increasing very rapidly. By the way, do you see that we do not have to add a new plot channel every time we add new in-function variables to the macro? This is because we use the controller all output values function in the plot definition dialog. Now let me show you that this percent variable is actually also known to any other function. Therefore, let's create a new macro called vars and params1 and call it after the first one. Here we create another evaluate function with a logic that resets the percent variable as soon as it reaches a certain value. When I run the simulation, I can see that it does exactly what we wanted. The value is immediately set to zero once the value 1000 is reached. When we reduce the increase by the factor 10, the behavior is a little more obvious. I told you at the beginning that the line between parameters and variables cannot be easily drawn in Netomac. Here's the reason why I said this. In Netomac, it is possible to formulate if conditions also outside a function. By using the double add followed by an if condition, Netomac executes only the code where if returns true. This means you can also define hash parameters depending on other hash parameters. This leaves you with unlimited possibilities to structure your network model and controller calls within Netomark. I hope this tutorial helped you to understand the concept of parameters and variables within Netomark. Stay tuned. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.